Okay, um, my name's Graham. I'm going to do a quick video review of this H180 uh, oxygen hydrogen flame uh, generator or uh, gas generator for flame. A um, bit of background I'm an owner of a, an acrylic fabrication shop, so we typically would use pressurized hydrogen and oxygen to polish our acrylic. And so, mainly, I'm just comparing how this machine does to a regular hydrogen oxygen tank. Okay, now I'm going to prop my phone up and uh, do the review. Okay, we're going to try this review again. Uh, this is um, the active part of the review. I showed you the machine a second ago, hopefully, if I merge this video correctly. Anyhow, um, I'm going to take it from the other side this time so the glare of the light isn't in the way. So this is what we're going to be polishing. It's just some half inch cast acrylic, um, off cuts from uh, some acrylic uh, donuts we were doing. I'm going to start the flame polisher machine, just using an old barbecue lighter with no gas. it there. Okay, so I'll do it as um, best I can here. It's a little awkward for me, but hopefully you can see it. Anyway, so we're. Um, acrylic fabrication shop we would normally use full tank uh, hydrogen oxygen uh, I will note that tips not very big so doing half inch is a little challenging um, anyways, there's the result there uh, it's quite good not as good as uh, full hydrogen hydrogen oxygen setup with tanks and whatnot, but um, unless you're a full fabrication shop, you know, that's probably not necessary for most people, um, as I think we have to rent the tanks. So uh, I'd say this is pretty good if you're just uh, tinkering around with acrylic or if you have a small shop or if you're doing hobby work. Uh, works pretty well. This is cast, so, you know, if you hit it a little bit too much or hit the side again, um, it clouds up a little bit. The The machine certainly seems to kind of keep up. Um, adding the electrolyte and putting in the alcohol for the filter, though I don't know what that does, um, seemed easy enough. So we're kind of using it as a backup uh, for when we run out of hydrogen unexpectedly. And I'll see if I can do this one, this is just some laser engraved uh, stuff, see how that does. Yeah, so, there you are there. Hopefully the video turns out this time, I kind of last, lost it last time. And uh, overall, I, I think Canadian dollars, I spent about $400 get this in and shipped and all that so um, it's an okay investment it's a little pricey if you're just doing it on your own but uh, for a business as a backup when we uh, do quite a bit of stuff it could be could be useful we'll see thanks <laughs> 